Good morning. So this morning I have woken up in the beautiful Philippines and I noticed that I got a bunch of emails from you guys asking about my hair. So I thought it would be a good opportunity while I'm getting ready this morning to show you guys what I have been doing. So basically I've been rocking like these big beachy curls and the struggle with that is always how to get them to stay and not fall out. So I've nailed it and I'm going to show you exactly how to get big beachy hair that lasts all day. Okay, so let's get started. My hair is a bit frizzy from yesterday, so what I like to do is put some BB cream in it. It's like beauty cream, but for your hair. So I'm just gonna put that through the ends and the mid lengths. And it really, really stops my hair from getting too frizzy, especially in such a tropical climate. It means that it stays really beautiful and shiny and can kind of withstand a lot of humidity. Just massage that in there. And I'm literally just gonna let that air dry. So the way we're going to do this hairstyle is I'm going to separate it into three sections. So the lowest section, the mid section, and then the top section. And we're going to work backwards. So I'm going to use a 19 millimeter curling iron. It's super easy. It takes like 10 minutes and it looks like it's going to be really tight little kind of poodly curls, but they fall out to create these cool beachy waves and that's really what we're going for. So just separate out the lowest section to begin with. Okay, now this here is my biggest section, so I'm gonna do five curls. So I'm gonna do three backwards that way and then two backwards that way. So when you put out the curl, just kind of scrunch it together in your hand like that. Give it a bit of loving and leave it like that. And it's just gonna be like a little ribbon ringlet for a while, but we will change that. So what I'm really finding with keeping your curls lasting throughout the day without getting too frizzy and stuff is with the product, I really think less is more. So I'm not really using, you know, a holding mousse or too much of a strong hold hairspray. It's really like a small amount and all you're trying to do is kind of enhance the natural bounce in your hair. So that BB cream is perfect because it just adds a bit of lightweight kind of volume to it. And that's really what I'm trying to achieve I really don't want my curls to be sitting perfectly. I flick it around a lot, so it really just kind of needs to look natural and relaxed no matter which way I've flicked it. So less is more with product and just use kind of ones that will make them bouncy and, and soft. Okay, so the first level is done. Super easy, right? So I'm just going to flick that to the back, to the front, and pull out the next step. So just separate kind of the top section, almost like a little quiff section of your hair, and that's going to be the fringy bit, and pin that away. Now with this section again, it's pretty thick, so I'm gonna do 
five curls again, but I'm gonna do three on that side and two on that side, just to break it up a little bit of that. I'll show you what I mean. And exactly the same thing, just put your curling iron there and always work backwards. So the reason I kind of scrunch it up like that is because I don't really want these to be perfect curls. Like I'm quite happy for them to fall differently and have a bit of texture to them. So you can just kind of scrunch around with it a little bit. Now I was going to split this into two but there's still quite a bit of hair there so I am actually going to split it into three. So on the second level we've done six all the way to the back. So one and I'll split that into two. And just so you guys know, I'm counting to about 20 on each one of these curls. I change it up a little bit if it's a particularly like thin piece or something, but as a general, I'm doing about 20 seconds. Okay, so that is the two levels done. So I've done five and then six curls, and they're all kind of sitting in these pretty little ringlets right now, but I'm just gonna throw them at the back to chill out, and we're gonna work on this top bit. So this I'm just going to separate into three sections. So a little brush through it. I'm going to take the back bit. This doesn't have to be particularly accurate. And just move that to the side. So I've got the back bit there. So I'm going to spritz a little bit of Stronghold hairspray just into the roots there. And do a tiny bit of a tease because I like some volume there in the back of my head. And then I'm going to actually hold the curl up flat this time just so it kind of has a little bit of a nice lift there towards the root and actually curl it backwards like that. This one doesn't need 20 seconds, you can probably do like 10. And then, this front section, I'm going to just split right down the middle. Split right down the middle. And I'm gonna get it all the way from back there, and this is kind of gonna be my little fringy curl, if you can see that. So here I like to place the curling iron, kind of just framing my face so that the curl just sits nicely in like a kind of Farrah Fawcett style around my face. And pop it on an angle, like that. All right, now, We've got all our curls sitting there, ready to go, and I'm just gonna spritz a bit of this Stronghold hairspray now. Just do a tiny little bit. Don't go overboard. And leave that to just chill out and set for a minute while you go get dressed or something. Okay, I'm back. So these have settled for about five minutes. I've just got changed. You can, you know, spend time doing your makeup or whatever you gotta do. And now we can pretty much finish this off. So, what we're gonna do is first just kind of mess it up a little bit with our hands. You can already see that these are quite big. <laughs> and once you've kind of got a bit of texture going on there, I actually like to run just a really kind of like loose kind of brush through it so you don't want to totally brush it out but just separate those curls a little bit and just give a soft feel to the whole thing okay and now this is the biggest trick it is volume powder now if you are trying to achieve volume you absolutely need this this is like magic just again use it in real moderation because it's really gritty so if you use too much 
it can kind of make your hair super sticky and stuff so that's not really what you want but this put just on the roots wherever you think that your hair might kind of fall flat so for me I like to have kind of a lot of hair around my head I don't want it to fall too flat so I'm just going to kind of separate a little part there and pop a bit of powder towards the back as well and same on this side and then I'm going to take a tiny bit and massage that into the roots wherever I'd like a little bit of grit and resistance to give me that good volume And that's me done. So you can see it's really big at the moment, but the beauty with it is, is as soon as I start like going outside or even like getting some sand and things like that in it on this island, it's gonna just kind of fall out and be this really great beachy hairstyle. And I just always flick it around and play with it. Sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's just over the shoulder. Whatever you kind of wanna do with it, it's a really kind of versatile, day style that I just absolutely love and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching how I do it. And this honestly took like 10 minutes to do, you know, 20 seconds with each of the curls and they're just so robust that they're going to last all day and I can just go about and do my business, have fun, I can even throw it up in a ponytail and it will just still look good the whole day. So enjoy. Smile.